Fred and Sheila McCoy. Once again, Sheila and I are making a few videos today, so some of these videos you're going to see the same clothes on uh, several videos because we're, we're making several short ones in one day. Things yeah. that people have sent us and uh, we're responding to and we're just throwing them out there all in one day. So, not brave but cowards. Uh, we've done some uh, stories on this newspaper article. This is from Louisville, Kentucky, mm -hmm. February 17th. And um, not brave but cowards. Horrors of the Hatfield McCoy feud, Louisville. Valentine Hatfield was the brother of Ants Hatfield and is the oldest and is said to be one of the worst of the lot. Valentine, uh, yeah. When told that the man in jail here denied having any connection to it. And Randall, of course, he said that's always the case when they're when they're caught, they always deny it. And then here's a, McCoy's appealed to the law and procured indictments in Pike County against the Hatfields for the murder of their brothers. But the governor of West Virginia would not grant requisitions for the criminals. He would not extradite them to Kentucky. Okay. On the other hand, the Hatfields swore to exterminate the McCoy family and Anse Hatfield offered $500 to anyone who would kill Randolph McCoy, the father. Wow. In consequence of which several attempts were made upon the life of the latter. And you know, Sheila will take a uh, wow. pictures a picture. of all these again. Mm -hmm. Wow. But you know, uh, there was at least two attempts made. One of them was Randall McCoy when his cabin, before his cabin was burnt down, he was out standing in the door facing of his cabin one day. And from on the hill, if you've ever been to where Randall McCoy's cabin was, across where the road is now, 319, mm -hmm. up on that hill's where his boys, where his children's children buried, are buried, six Some children. Of them. Mm -hmm. And from up on that hill, now on the other side of that hill, you're looking toward West Virginia. But up on that hill somewhere, a bushwhacker shot Randall, shot at Randall McCoy and hit the door facing him right beside of Randall McCoy in that cabin. So that was one attempt that they missed. Mm -hmm. And the second one was when Hintz and John Scott, I think it was, I could be wrong on the names. Like I said, guys, anytime we're wrong, please correct us. Um, I may be wrong on the names, but I'm not wrong on the incident because Randall McCoy and Calvin were going to Pikeville uh, mm -hmm. dealing with the court case with uh, uh, the Hatfields and killing his boys and uh, some of the Hatfields or some of the people, a $500 reward back then was pretty good. That's, that's what they put out on Devil Ants and the boys for killing three McCoys. So mm -hmm. he, he put... So five. Randall and who was going? Randall and Calvin, his son Calvin. This was before okay. they burnt the cabin down. Right, okay. I just want to make was sure. because he was getting warrants. Right. He was uh, wanting the warrants served on killing the three McCoy, the okay. boys. Okay, the boys, okay. And Randall and Calvin got a late start that morning. Mm-hmm. And instead of them going to Pipewell, the Scots were in front of them traveling to Pipewell, and they shot, the story was that they shot John Scott, I think it was, in the leg, or shot his horse, and something like that. But that was a, the second attempt on Randall McCoy's life. They thought it was Randall McCoy, and they was going to kill him. Wow. And they shot the wrong, the wrong, wrong people. people. Mm -hmm. Again, you're shooting from the bush. You're shooting from a distance. You're, you're a coward. You don't want them to see you. You want to, you've got to, Winchester rifle, and uh, you can get out and touch someone with them from a distance, but they mistook those two where, where they knew that they had gotten word that Randall and Calvin was going to be going to Pipewell the next day, mm -hmm. so they'd already set up waiting on them, and by coincidence, here comes two horses down the road with two men on it, yeah. and they mistakenly took, took them for Randall McCoy and Calvin, wow. and, and shot and wounded uh, one of them. So anyway, that was a, she'll post that, but that's where a $500 reward, that's Library of Congress. That's, that's I'll take the, pictures of it and put it at the end of the video. And uh, you'll see where it's yellowed in. And, yep. uh,
me do this and uh, hi guys hope you're having a great evening please like subscribe and share we'll catch you on the next one bye thanks guys